what are the kind of things in any production budget that will cause the budget to skyrocket? Big sweeping movements. That means you want to get a dolly or a drone. You know? You know, that could be something that would skyrocket the budget if the filmmaker doesn't have a drone. VFX, animation, night shoots, night shoots with lots of lights, like say you want a lot of neon and all of that. Anytime you have to get lights, that elevates it. If you're not going to just have like sort of an outdoor daylight shoot, just expect it to just be a little bit more money. You'll need safe locations for a nighttime shoot. You might have to pay for those extras. So like, yeah, you can get your friends or buddies or whoever, but if you're thinking like, I'm gonna do this in a stadium and I want like, you know, a hundred people there, uh, you're gonna have to pay those people. You're gonna have to feed them. Actors too, like if you're not gonna be in in it as a musician and you're gonna hire a couple actors, you'll have to pay for them. No, no big sweeping shots, no big special effects, limit your extras okay with like outdoor shots yeah instead of instead of indoor stuff is that fair those are all kind of things that would help to keep the budget reasonable oh yeah another thing to think about is like art direction and costuming and all that i mean if you're going to goodwill you can find some amazing gems in there to throw in your video if you want like elaborate costuming like you know angel olsen wears in the mirrors video like that's gonna cost you yeah you can be super creative. That's why I like trying to find a filmmaker that has the chops to come up with ideas. And also I've seen bands be super creative and come up with their own ideas, you know, just like that synergy of finding, finding the right person to carry out your vision or finding the, that right person to have a really strong vision to help you if you're not exactly sure where to get started.